When the teenager Hannah Smith committed suicide after reportedly suffering abuse on the Ask FM website, it triggered a national debate over online bullying, with the Prime Minister calling for a boycott of the site. But for Lorraine Gallagher, it was more than just another news story. Last year, both her teenage daughters killed themselves after 13-year-old Erin was bullied on the site. Tonight, Miss Gallagher talks about trying to come to terms with her loss and why she believes Ask FM should be shut down and the law changed to protect young people. Katie Razzle went to meet her and be warned, some viewers may find her story distressing. They were so close, but they were so different. Every day I ask myself questions. You, could, you just go down in a circle because with suicide you have no answers. Lorraine Gallagher's teenage daughters committed suicide within two months of one another. 13-year-old Erin was first. She hanged herself in the family home. When Erin died, I ran for help. I knew she was dead anyway. She, I ran next door to get help um, because I couldn't get her down myself. Erin had left a note. It just said um, she apologised. The first line was she apologised. She said, I'm sorry I have to do this, but I'm fed up of the bullying, Ask FM, and she mentioned a person's name. This won't be the first time you've heard of Ask FM. The social networking site hit the headlines recently when another teenager, Hannah Smith, hanged herself. Her father blamed cyberbullying. Ten months after Erin's death, and with the shock of what happened to Hannah Smith still fresh, Lorraine agreed to talk to Channel 4 News about Ask FM. It's thousands and thousands of children are getting bullied every day on the site. Would you like to see it shut down? I would love to see it, uh, yeah, because I don't want to go and switch the TV on again and see another kid's killed herself because they've been bullied on Ask FM. Oh, she was sit for hours straightening her hair and doing her nails. It's difficult to understand the combination of circumstances and mental trauma that would push a child to suicide. Lorraine says Erin was being bullied at school. The online abuse wasn't the only factor, but she believes it was the last straw and says that's what her daughter told her in the suicide note. That's why, that's what she wrote to tell me that she killed herself for. That's all the answers and that's probably all the answers I will get. For any parent, not seeing your child grow into adulthood is the stuff of nightmares. But two months after Erin's death, just before Christmas last year, Lorraine's eldest daughter, Shannon, also took her own life. She was 15 and her mother believes she just missed her sister too much. Sh Shannon was the oldest. Shannon never, never lived a, a day of her life without Erin. Everybody thought because Shannon was tomboyish, she was outspoken and whatever, everybody thought that Erin needed Shannon. That was wrong. It was Shannon that needed Erin. Shannon, too, had left a note, wrapped in her mother's Christmas present. She just, just said, hi, Mum, just writing a short letter to let you know how much I love you. And um, she, she said um, negative things happen for positive reasons. And I hope to see you very soon. How do you, as a parent, kind of cope? You have two other children, little children. You know, how do you cope with what has happened? I have bad days and I have good days. Some days I just break down. Other days I'm OK. But mm, what I want you know, know is, is I want to get justice for Shannon and Erin. Justice, she hopes, will come when the authorities Lorraine believes let down her children hold up their hands and admit it. And that includes Ask FM. Even if they can't shut down Ask FM, they can bring in a law for the people who's bullying. So if there was a law there, maybe they wouldn't bully as much on Ask FM, Ask FM because they'd be too scared to. Ask FM told this programme that they've set up an independent audit of their site's safety features due to report back on Friday. The founders say they're committed to taking comprehensive and decisive action to ensure their social network is a safe environment. Whatever happens, it will be too late for Lorraine's daughters. Their mother is left with her happy memories, but haunted by the awful image of Erin when she found her. I see it every time I walk through the front door, I see Erin. It's, a, it's one of the memories you'll never forget. 
And if you have any concerns over the issues covered in that report, you can find help at channel4.com support.